Sometimes during the treatment of a spice condition, your own doctor may suggest a spice surgeries. Spice surgeries are meant for those who fail to improve on the non-surgical manner of treatments. So the goal of spine surgery mainly is to serve to decompress a compressed nerve causing radiculopathy pain or to stabilize a spine which is unstable or to correct the deformities and also it serves to actually treat the tumor or infection which the ones may have on the spine. Minimal invasive spine surgery is a technique that we offer nowadays with much success. We weren't able to perform this 10 years ago or even 15 years ago because of the technology, lack of technology. Nowadays, with the advancement of technology, we are able to make the minimal invasive surgery more accessible to everybody. Things like light source advancement. They are able to make a better light source through a small incision for us to light up the field of operation. Magnification and visualization of the pathology with the aid of microscope and loops. I think all these are help to actually make a minimal invasive spine surgery a success. The other things that we are able to do nowadays is actually through a, a, a invasion of an endoscopic or even a tube a detector system, which enable to through the small incision be able to put in the screw and also the rod to stabilize an unstable spine. The benefit of a minimal invasive surgery, things like less blood loss because there's a small incision, less traumatized to the soft tissue surrounding the surgical field, therefore reducing the muscle damage, and all those soft tissue sparing will actually reduce the risk of actually soft tissue infection and also the post of pain post of, uh, after the operation. Or when patients have less pain after operation, it will diminish the dependency on the medication to treat the pain after operation and therefore we'll be reducing the side effect of those medications on the particular patient as well. When patients feel like there's less pain, they will recover faster of course and also able to enter the rehabilitation phase as early as more early than patients who undergo the conventional open surgery. Of course, there will be a better cosmetic appearance as well to the patient who undergo minimal invasive spine surgery. There are various spine conditions which are suitable to be treated under minimal invasive spine surgery. Things like degenerative spine disease, which con including herniated disc disease, lumbar spinal stenosis, spinal deformities such as scoliosis or, or degenerative scoliosis, spinal infection, tumor, any spinal instability including spinal disc disease, vertebral compression fractures, Please speak to your doctor regarding whether the suitability of the using a minimal invasive surgery to treat your spine condition.